using min terms and uh, max terms uh, we can express any boolean function uh, for example a boolean function f1 can be represented as uh, uh, or of uh, those are three min terms uh, which is equivalent to this because uh, min term index 1 is a uh, not x not y and z in true form min term index 4 is this uh, min term index 7 is this uh, you can clearly see the relationship by having sort of truth table the truth table for three variables x y and z is here all input combinations uh, and then uh, for min terms uh, we tell, see we can see that the 0 0 0 corresponds to index 0 and the 1 1 1 corresponds to index 7 uh, in other words each row in the truth table is one min term and if we put uh, the truth table in sort of uh, binary numbering order then the row index is the same as a min term index here function one is a uh, has a uh, three min terms uh, so those min terms represent when the function becomes one so the truth table of the function the min term index one min term index four the min term index seven those are three cases are uh, function one becomes a uh, one and uh, they are expressed uh, using some of the min terms of four. If we have a four or five uh, variable function f, uh, and the suppose uh, that function is expressed as a sum of a min terms from this way, then the original Boolean function expression is a uh, min term index two corresponds to in the five bit pattern is a uh, zero 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 in the one zero so the corresponding uh, term is uh, a not b not c not d and e not and the min term index seven a uh, nine nine is a one zero zero one in bit pattern so only b and e has ones and all the others are zero seventeen is a uh, uh, zero uh, 17 is 1001 zero, 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 one in a binary number 1001 zero, 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 one. so we have a, a and e in true form and bc as a complement form binary number for decimal 23 is a 10111 so we have a 10111 that's a corresponding term for min term index 23 max term if uh, function f1 is expressed as a product of uh, maximum form then we can find the original boolean expression by replacing each max term by its expression so max term index 0 with the three variable is x y z all in true form because uh, in a binary pattern uh, true form represent a bit zero in max term index so here max term index two means a zero one zero max term index three is a one zero one one zero one one is max index three and the five and four is like that so they are in a sort of a product from here, product represent the end operation in Boolean logic. And you can see uh, the max term represents a value of zero in a truth table. So max term index uh, zero means uh, uh, the function becomes a zero at that truth table row. The max term index two function becomes zero max term index three function becomes zero max term index five and six uh, function becomes zero so mean term represent in the truth table the row where the function becomes one in the meanwhile max term represent the 
row in the truth table where function becomes a zero. So for four variable function, if that is expressed as a, this way, product of a max terms form, here product means end operation though, then we can find the original expression by replacing each max term in the original Boolean expression. So index 3 means uh, in binary pattern 0, 0, 1, 1. And 0 is in true form in max term. 1 is in complement form in a max term. So A or B or not C and not D is a max term 3. Max term 8, 11, 14 is a similarly de derived uh, or calculated. Canonical form, if you remember in the earlier video, has two forms. Uh, canonical forms is two forms. One is called the sum of a min terms. The other is called the product of a max term. So here we talk about uh, sum of a min terms as a one of a canonical form. Sum of a min terms uh, as a canonical form is uh, to express a function using all of uh, all necessary min terms uh, which makes a uh, function one in the truth table. So here f uh, is x or not x not y is not a canonical form because uh, those terms are not min terms. The min terms are by definition all the variables that should present either true or complement form. So those those are not min terms. So we can change it to canonical sum of a min terms of form by recovering all those missing variables. So what you do is x could be ex expanded this way because of from the Boolean algebra identity a variable or complement of, of its variable is uh, same as 1. So a variable and the 1 is the same as a variable. Using those two properties, so we can expand that and then we can distribute to x over this group. So we have a final form. Now in two variable function f, uh, each term is now min term because all the variables are present. And the for xy is uh, corresponding to min term 3. And xy not is min term 2. Not x, not y is min term 0. So function f uh, in sum of a min terms of form is uh, this. Another example is now in three variable function f is there. So a, b, c, we can see those two terms are not min term because not all three variables are present. So what you need to do is uh, using those uh, Boolean algebra properties, uh, we need to recover all those uh, uh, cancelled variables. So A is the same as uh, A and uh, B or B not, C or C not, because each in parentheses is the same as a 1 in Boolean algebra property. The variable a and the 1 and the 1 is the same as a. So we will cover that. And then another term, a is a missing. So using the, this in a product form, we can recover missing variable. And then we use a distributive law. And then uh, we arrange those one. Then we'll find uh, all of those are in min terms. Uh, then we can find the index of those ones. So ABC is min index 7. And not A, not B, C is index 1. And then finally we put those indices in ascending order. So this is a canonical sum of a min terms of form for function f. In the previous slide, uh, we changed uh, this function f uh, into uh, sum of a min terms of form. Uh, the, the result is uh, here. Then we have another formal shorthand notation for that. That is uh, uh, using sigma notation and the sub m uh, inside the parenthesis. Uh, we simply list uh, those uh, min term indices uh, with a comma separate notation. So this is a uh, shorthand notation for some of uh, min terms of form. The other canonical form is a product of a max terms. 
product of a max term, remember that the max term corresponds to the entry in the truth table where the function becomes a zero. Uh, here, function f is given with the three variables. This is expression. We can tell that those terms are not max term form. So we, we, we need to convert it to product of a max term form. So, so first, uh, given this one, we apply distributive law. So we get this. Uh, so or is distributed over n, uh, we get this result. And then the first part is 1 in the Boolean algebra property. So this is the final form we get. But uh, max term should have all the variables present. Uh, so z is uh, gone, so we need to recover z by adding or by having or operations with uh, z and the z naught. z and the z naught is the same as zero, so oring with the zero does not affect the original expression. So having this z, we apply distributive law. So have uh, this x or not y as one variable, and then or operation is distributed over and. So we have uh, this expression after applying distributive law. Then, uh, now we convert the, the original function f into product of uh, max terms. And this max term corresponds to 0, 1, 0 in binary pattern, so index is 2, and this one is 0, 1, 1, which is uh, decimal 3, so min term index 3. Another example is a little bit complicated. You are not required to do this all algebraic manipulation, but just have some idea how do we convert the given function into product of max terms. So originally given three variable function f, and then this is not product of max terms. So we need to convert it using algebraic properties. First, what you do is considering those so first two terms as 1, then we distribute OR operation over AND operation. So this one is distributed, so we get this or that, and then those two not A, not B is distributed. And then we apply this relationship, and for each in uh, parentheses is uh, reduced uh, this way, and then we apply that property again, we have uh, this result. Uh, and then uh, don't forget we are talking about the standard order in our discussion, so we rearrange those uh, variables. Uh. Then uh, each in parentheses is a uh, max term because all the variables are present either in true or false form. And the function itself is a product in the form of a product of a max terms. So the finally we got product of a max term canonical form. As to the max term index, uh, this is one zero one in binary pattern, which is a uh, index of five. This is a zero one zero in binary pattern, which is a min term max term index of two. Function complement uh, you can easily get using those uh, sum of a product or a max, uh, product of a max term form. Suppose a given function is uh, in uh, sum of a min terms of form, and the min term indices are 1, 3, 5, 7. Remember, in a truth table, if we derive a truth table of a function f, uh, min term indices means uh, the corresponding row in the truth table becomes a uh, makes the function 1. So the complement of function f is a list of all those rows in the truth table which makes a function 0. So we can easily get complement of a function f by having some of the min terms with those min terms which is missing ones from original function f. But similarly, uh, those ones are making the function 0, so which is a 
Maxstrom index. So you can see the relationship between function complements. If a function is represented as a sum of mean terms, complement of the function is a, with the same indices, a, we have a product of max terms or just to find a, the missing ones a, from the original sum of mean terms and the missing indices a, becomes the function complement. So conversion between the form is uh, using that idea, uh, given function f, uh, suppose this is given function f, uh, then complement is uh, simply get sum of a mean terms list by finding missing indices uh, or with the uh, same, with the same indices, uh, you can have a product of mixed terms. Uh. So you can easily convert between forms.